All right, I'm here in Sadek. I literally just got off the boat and I'm in the midst of this market. As you can see, there's fish everywhere. There's a whole bunch of them swimming over here, waiting to be picked out by someone looking for dinner tonight. And some of them are being cleaned up because you got fish swimming and you got fish that have seen better days. What's neat about coming to Vietnam is you can literally check out what it's like to be a local here and interact with many of the folks. Now, English isn't widely spoken in places like this, but the people are warm and friendly, and they're definitely having a very, very good time. So what this lady's working on is something called durian, which is the king of fruit. And it smells pretty bad, but the flesh inside is supposed to taste really good. There are only so many places you can get it, and basically, if you want it fresh, you got to be here in Southeast Asia. And right now, we're in Vietnam, and we're going to give it a try. So that's what I want to grab. Stinky? How's it smell? Just grab it, like this? Yep. All right. So I got a piece of it, what do you do? Just <laughs> see how it tastes. No. No. Interesting. How is it, good? Yeah. Fresh fruit, carry on, the king of fruit. The house you see meandering was built by a wealthy Chinese businessman in 1895. French writer Marguerite Dura, who grew up in Sadak, made this house famous when she was just 15 and began an affair with Hun Toi Li, the 27-year-old son of the rich Chinese landowner who then owned the house. The love affair was the focus of her autobiographical novel, The Lover. Villages of Vietnam, and in this one in particular, Sadek, are special because of the people, especially the little ones. <laughs> 